Hey guys, it's Justine and I just have uh, my October-ish book haul and some of these I might have already showed you but I couldn't remember so sorry if they're repeats but I'm going to show you again. Um, this one I was sent to by the author. Um, it is the Winning Side University Park Series Book 3 by CM Deporto. This is her new adult um, series, like I said, book three and it's about like college football and love and it's super good and super addicting and Raven is really hot so you guys should read it. If you're into new adult and football and check this out and then even though I haven't read any of her books I just had to pick this up because of the hype um, and it is carry on by Rainbow Rowell so got that guy to add to the collection of Rainbow Rowell books that I own all of them and haven't read any of them um, and then this one was brain on fire by Susanna Kaalan and this is like how she went crazy for like a month or something um, Let's see. I don't know, but like something made her brain go crazy and then she wakes up and was like, I don't remember anything that just happened for however long I was crazy for. So I thought that was super cool. It's a biography. Uh, then I think I talked about this before, but I didn't actually show it to you. I got um, Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee because who didn't get this book when it came out? I haven't read it yet, but I'm super excited because I love To Kill a Mockingbird. Then I grabbed, I'll show you this one first. Uh, Kidnapped by Leslie Cowley. It's a diary of my 373 days in captivity. This one was a secondhand book, but I just love like these kind of memoir, like I was kidnapped or I was raped or whatever. Real stories I like. Um, she was from Colombia. Um, her plane was hijacked by a guerrilla group. They were held hostage for 373 days and she was like writing in her diary the whole time so this is like her diary entries i think and there's pictures of like so i don't know that's kind of cool but like in a terrible oh my god i can't believe that happened to you type of way and then of course i had to grab life and death twilight reimagined by stephanie meyer and this is like the whatever the special little flippy one i think they're all flippy so yeah except for i was super pissed off because i didn't notice that my covers creased but oh well we'll just have to deal with it walmart don't crease your covers and then i won this book from goodreads this is like i've been like super not winning anything from goodreads lately so that's kind of depressing but I got this one and I'm excited about it and I think November is like children's literacy month so I'm gonna try to read like some more children's books um, but this one is Danny Dingle's Fantastic Finds The Metal Mobile by Angie Lake and this is book one and oh, meet Danny Dingle aka experimental face ha 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 super secret spy and future assistant to the greatest superhero ever metal face Danny and Percy know they have to pull out all the stops to be Danny's arch enemy Gareth Trumpshaw who's an evil genius with an evil genius dad they're also big fat cheaters. Can dad's special brew of super fizzy cola save the day or will it be down to super dog to come to the rescue yet again? And then I really liked it because the pages are like blue but like they aren't so it's just like it kind of reminds me of like Dexter's Lab slash Captain Underpantsy is what it reminds me of so I'm excited to get into that one. And then I went to Costco and I couldn't believe that I found this because I've been looking for this forever and it was super freaking cheap. It was like $18.99 and I was like, yes, please. I need that. It is the, you guys are going to be so jealous, Roll Doll Collection. And like literally I was looking online and it's like not in stock. You can't buy this. This is super collector's edition, blah, 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 million dollars. So I'm so excited that I got it. It's from Penguin. Um, we have the BFG, Matilda, SEO Trot, George's Marvelous Medicine, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, The Magic Finger, Danny and the Champion, or Danny, the Champion of the World, Twits, The Witches, Going Solo, The Draft, The Pelly and Me, James and the Giant Peach, and Boy Tales of Childhood. So for freaking $18.99 and you get 15 bucks by Roll Doll. Yes, please. You can't, you can you can't walk away without this. And I'm so happy. And even though I already got, which ones do I have? I don't know. I bought them. I was like trying to slowly buy them off book outlet, but now I have them. But I wish they were in like the original covers because I like the original covers better, but that's okay. And then 
I made some orders from Chapters. So, this one, which I've been waiting forever for, because I ordered them like a long ass time ago. But because one was a pre order, they can't send anything until the pre order one comes or whatever. So they're not charging you for shipping and whatever their excuses are. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll give you a little sneak peek of the back. Do you know what it is? Whoops. You guys ready? Are you ready for this? Harry Potter coloring book. Okay. Oh my god. Like, do you see this? Do you see Dobby? How cute is he? You guys. I'm not gonna color in this, obviously, but like, I just wanted it for collecting. Because, you know, like, freaking who doesn't love Harry Potter? I also just bought like the collector's Hogwarts collection edition of all the DVDs at Costco because it was $119 or $120 when usually it's like $200. So if you're into that, buy it. It gets You get like four discs of each movie of all seven of them and then you get like 3D ones and you get extended and all kinds of stuff. So I don't know. I love it. Ah, there's the Voldemort. Or Voldemort apparently. Oh and look there's like colored pictures. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So anyways, got that. So I got into it. So by now you guys have probably already seen these all over the YouTube because I had to wait for the pre-order. But anyways, I'm so excited to finally have these. So where this one's cover is kind of weird. The first one is Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff which everyone has been talking about and like under the dust jacket my cover's a little bit messed up doesn't like fit properly and then there's like pictures and files and things and this one like I don't actually know it's like in the future and they're at war over a planet and they have to fight to evacuate enemy warships coming and yeah so I don't know sounds pretty cool I'm excited everyone's excited so then I was recommended this by Mac Phantom so thank you sir I finally got it I pre-ordered this because I couldn't find it at comic-con or anything but it is um, Batman the killing joke and I got the deluxe edition so this is what I think we are waiting for to get this shipment. So we're going to rip into this puppy. And apparently Tim Burton um, blurbed it and it said, I love the killing joke. It's my favorite. It's the first comic I've ever loved. This is by Alan Moore and Brian Boland. Like, it's so pretty. I've never looked under the cover of a graphic novel. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's like embo embossed. I don't know of what. Can you guys see it? Oh, there's like, okay. So let's see if we can turn it. There's like Batman and he's like choking the Joker. And then on the back, there's like a jack of clubs with like the Joker's face. So that's freaking awesome. And it says the killing joke at the bottom. And like, look it, there's like creepy eyes. And I love that this is like super dark and awesome. And like, it's like realistic comic, if that makes sense. So thank you, Mac Phantom, for recommending it. I finally got it and can't wait to read it. Yay. And then the last thing that I got, it's a hint. Here's the little hint of the little corner. Okay, I finally got, because I've been waiting. I ordered this like when it came out, like I pre-ordered this. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the illustrated edition. Ah, so excited. And it's just red and it has teal writing. And then on the inside, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. And like. Okay, every page that I turn to doesn't have illustrations. Like, look at this illustration. And, oh my god, Hagrid. And like, 
hello. So I'm gonna probably reread these in like December. Well, actually, probably just this one because I would like to collect them all. Um, and then it was funny because I'm like, Matt, like my husband, like now you can finally read Harry Potter because he's never read Harry Potter. Like, I don't know what the F is his deal. I try to tell him he needs to read it and he's like, well, just watch the movies. Which luckily for him, the movies are actually pretty close to the book, except for the Philosopher's Stone because they skip out the potion when they're going into, they're all poison except for one. But it's my only complaint. So we're finished Chamber of Secrets. So we're going on to Prisoner of Azkaban, which is my favorite. Or we're on Prisoner of Azkaban. But yeah, so I was like, you can actually read this illustrated edition. And then he was all pissed off. He's like, you know, I can read words, right? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Can you? Do you read? So yay! Yay! So that's everything I got, and I'm super stoked, so let me know what you guys got, if you've read any of these, if you like them, if you hate them, and thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you in another video, and if you have any video recommendations that or things you want to see, I know I've been hearing about shelf tours. This is my TBR shelf. It's giant. It's like, you guys can't see all the way up here, and all the, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six by five Ikea shelf, and these are just two beat. TV Red books and there's still like a million down here and like a million over here and I literally just shoved a bunch like these ones and these ones in the shelf because I did have them all in order but now I don't even care because this room is super messy because it's covered in books um so yeah let me know if you have any video recommendations and thank you guys for watching see you in another video